New information leaked from mainland China exposes the CCP virus death toll is far greater than the official number. NTD Xi Wenrong has the story. China state media reported on March 26 a truck at one funeral home shipped in about 2,500 cremation urns on both Wednesday and Thursday. Another picture published on the same media outlet Caixin showed stacks of urns on the ground inside the funeral home. The caption reads, one stack has 500 urns. There are seven stacks in total. <laughs> Wuhan locked down its city for more than two months. Recently, funeral homes opened their doors for people to pick up the ashes of their relatives who died during the pandemic. On March 26, a netizen in China posted pictures on a Chinese social networking platform showing the front of a funeral home in Wuhan. The pictures continue to circulate on Twitter after the platform deleted the original post. The photos show a crowd of people lining up outside the funeral home and a sign saying, pick up the ashes of relatives who died during the epidemic. In a recent tweet, a netizen says there were many security guards closely monitoring the scene and undercover police were everywhere. They said if anyone tried to take out their phone, they would be stopped. A staff member from Wuchang Funeral Home told us even if people make it to the home, they might have to wait in long lines. It depends on the number of people. This morning, many people came. We contacted a person in charge of a funeral home and asked about the situation. To pick up the family's ashes, they must be notified by the Hankou Funeral Home. If they haven't been notified, they can't pick them up. He continued that for now, this will happen in phases because it is too much to handle all at once. A Wuhan resident told us his friend went to pick up their relative's ashes and saw the same situation and said they also had to wait to register at the cemetery. While the official numbers of death in Hubei is more than 3,000, a Wuhan resident tells a different story. There are so many people at the cemetery. How many are there in reality? Definitely not 3,000 people. Adding another zero or two zeros is also possible. A netizen said in a tweet, someone even lined up for three hours but still couldn't register. During the outbreak in the epicenter, the death toll from the CCP virus in Wuhan received attention around the world. As NTD previously reported, evidence is mounting that the Chinese regime is covering up the real numbers. In an undercover investigation by NTD in February, a funeral home official said even 24 hours a day isn't enough to handle all the bodies. The amount of bodies we transport and cremate are four to five times more than usual. The actual death toll in Wuhan remains a mystery even today. Reporting by Xu Wenrong, NTD News.